The Stu Gray Selling Handicap Hurdle is next. It's a two and a quarter mile naught to 90, and it's got three runners. Gold Staple at the top for Alex Cherry, Ice Parade for Obi Wan, and African Bloom for Stu Gray. Away they go then. So, just the three in this as they get to the first, and they're all safely over it, naught to 90. And I suppose second week of the season aren't going to be that many naught to 90, so they get to the second. They're all safely over it. Maybe this will be better a few weeks later. I might need up into naught to 100 next week. Next week, next season. Anyway, it's Ice Parade in the lead. I'm sure these three trainers won't be too fussed that there are only three runners. As one of them's going to pick up a winner. I'm pretty sure Alex Cherry's had some winners already this season. I can't recall commentating on any for Obi Wan, Sirius Chill, or Stu Gray. Uh, so maybe they're all both looking for their first wins of the season. Stu Gray trying to win his own race. And Ice Parade in the lead. We're on Gold Staple in second. African Bloom back in third. Pretty well spread out as they get to the fourth. Uh, we'll safely over the fourth. And now they get over the fifth, and they're all safely over that. We've got the leader, Ice Parade for Obi Wan, the former flat handicapper many seasons ago. And Alex Cherry's horse, Gold Staple, is in second. He's the current National Hunt handicapper, so he'll have to handicap this himself afterwards. And what he does with it and then at the back Stu Gray my former commentating colleague who's currently enjoying a period of retirement it's Ice Parade in the lead for Gold Staple in second and African Bloom back in third as they make their way to the sixth the order as it was at the outset hill to go up and this course which is now just called Exeter it was used to be called Devon and Exeter I don't know why they got rid of the Devon and a bit but they did and Ice Parade is the leader as they get over the 6th Gold Staple 2nd and African Bloom 3rd So far, we've had about the same amount of overtaking manoeuvres as you normally get in a Formula One season, i.e., none. And it's Ice Parade in the lead, Gold Staple is second, and African Bloom is third. And they get over the eighth, and all safely over that. With Ice Parade in the lead, but being pushed along by the jockey, Gold Staple. Staple is trying to close in second, and African Bloom is getting just a little bit detached. At the back. Five furlongs to go. And Ice Parade continues to lead by two. Gold Staple in second. And African Bloom somewhere away third. Three flights still to take. Just under four furlongs still to race. And Ice Parade is beginning to pull away again from Gold Staple. Now that African Bloom's getting closer or Gold Staple's dropping further back, but now. Ice Parade starting to slow up again, and now they're all beginning to bunch. Here comes Gold Staple, and here comes African Bloom as well. Over a third last, it's still the same order, but they're much closer. And now Gold Staple takes it up the first overtaking manoeuvre of the race. Over the second last, they go, and Gold Staple's gone for home. African Bloom has gone in pursuit. The long-time leader, Ice Parade, has dropped away to third. They come towards the final flight, and Gold Staple, looking like he's probably only going to jump it, gets over it, pops it nicely. And African Bloom's back in second, and Alex Cherry's going to have to handicap himself a winner here as Gold Staple comes up towards the line and takes it really easily. Very comfortable win, six to eight lengths from in second place, African Bloom, and in third, Ice Parade. So Gold Staple the winner for Alex Cherry, African Bloom second for Stu Gray, and finally Ice Parade third for Obi-Wan. <laughs>